Okay, good morning. It is uh, the countdown day number six. So only six days till we go to Africa. I uh, had a little bit of a meeting with the landscapers this morning. So we're getting some extra work done on the yard to make it look good. And uh, then I flew the drone. So we have a little bit of drone footage for today's uh, vlog. So that should be pretty good. So now I'm off to the office. Welcome to uh, Parker Video Productions Inc. Studio. Uh, working this morning uh, to put together some stuff for you guys. And I uh, wanted to share with you a little bit of the equipment that we're going to be taking with us to Africa and uh, how we're going to shoot video. And so brought it all together here today so that you could take a look at it. So the first thing I was going to show you is we have a Nikon D5300 and it is a DSLR, digital SLR, and uh, we can take some pretty darn good pictures with it. And uh, we've added a double battery compartment on here, so it actually takes two camera batteries now. So um, when we have two complete sets of batteries for it, so... We can take it out into the field with two batteries and then we have a separate set that we can replace them with but frankly you can take a lot of pictures with one set of batteries so that works out pretty good um, and then we have three lenses that we're going to take uh, this lens right here is an 18 to 55 millimeter um, i use it mostly for wider shots shots uh, like scenery if you're taking uh, a long shot um, it goes on the camera and I'll I'll do some test shots and add them to the video so you can see what each lens does and uh, get it on here um, so it works like that it goes from 18 to 55 millimeters uh, in its zoom and it's got a locking feature on it so we can take that off and then uh, the next lens we have that we'll be taking and we don't actually need to put each one of these on the camera so I'll set that down put this over here is a another zoom lens and this is the 55 to 300 millimeter zoom lens I use this a lot to get you know when I'm shooting around a group of people I can get up pretty close with this this is nice and it's not so big and and heavy as the big gun over here so um, this one has a lot of uses. Um, we're going to get a chance to go see the Maasai tribe. This is the lens that I would be shooting when I went there to try to get some close-ups uh, of some of those folks. And then, of course, this is the elephant gun. Um, again, this is a zoom lens. This lens goes from 150 millimeters to 600 millimeters. Um, as I said, I'm going to do some test shots outside, and I'll include them in the video. So while I'm speaking so that you can see um, you know what the different lenses do um, this guy here will reach out pretty far and get pretty tight so thinking that if we get lucky enough to see a lion in the bush somewhere I'll be able to zoom in and actually get a fairly close shot of him and then uh, the next piece of gear that we're going to be taking is the drone and the drone is an aerial photographic or videographic platform um, this happens to be a DJI drone its model is Phantom 3 4k the 4k stands for the 4k camera and as you may be seeing every time you walk into Costco or somewhere like Costco that has all the big TVs set up it's now ultra high def, and that's what uh, we're going to with our televisions. And so I'm already shooting um, in 4K uh, pretty much on everything. Um, the other small camera, which I'll show you in a second, um, is actually the video camera that I'm taking. Um, the camera that you're watching right now is my studio camera, which is also 4K. And it wasn't until recently, actually the first vlog uh, that I did for you guys already is the um, 
the vlog that I sent out yesterday was the first time I had actually uploaded in 4K. And I'll do a little demonstration in uh, a later vlog on how to know which you're looking at when you're on YouTube. But the drone, pretty fun. Um, actually flew it this morning so that I could get some footage for the vlog today. And so it's, uh, it's really fun. Um, always makes me nervous when I fly it because uh, I don't want to crash it because uh, it's, you know, cost a couple of bucks. Um, we have two batteries. The batteries last about 25 minutes a piece, so I have a spare. And so, you know, uh, I can probably fly 40 solid minutes, which, you know, anywhere you go, you're going to get pretty much the kind of footage that you're looking for. Um, you can see the controller here. It incorporates an iPad mini. Um, it has a downloadable app called DJI, DJI Go, and that app allows me to communicate um, with the aircraft. And so, um, funny enough, the rules are starting to change, and so drones are um, getting to a point where there's a lot more rules, of course. And so you'll see the number that's listed on the top here. That number is actually my FAA tail number. So my aircraft is registered with the FAA. And I actually carry a, a card, a registration card in my wallet. I had to go online and register. And actually now, as of the end of August, to use the the drone in a professional manner uh, to do professional work where I'm getting paid for it, um, I actually have to have a pilot's license, a drone pilot's license through the FAA. So they're, they're tightening up on them, um, but uh, they're really great. The, the photography you get is awesome, and you'll see that. Um, I'm, I'm seeing, and I notice it all the time on TV now, there's a lot of drone footage being incorporated into television and news. Um, a lot of people are using them. It's certainly a lot less expensive to get aerial footage with a drone rather than a helicopter. So uh, um, YouTube in particular is really looking for um, content providers to upload in 4K. You actually kind of get rewarded in their points system when you do that. Um, so that's something that I just decided when I was acquiring the gear for the Africa trip that I really wanted to be 4K. And so um, it's just getting better and better. And uh, I'm, you know, wanted to be shooting 4K rather than uh, the 1080p. So the um, next piece, but, um, this camera is, again, also a Panasonic camera, and it is also 4K. And so I, I love this little camera. This is great. I was trying to figure out, and this was before I decided to take the drone, how I was going to take the other 4K camera because it's fairly large. Even though it's light, it's, it's pretty big. Um, so I saw this one. I said, okay, that will be a much better option. And truly, I like shooting with this camera. It's a good camera. does a great job in 4K, and it's so light and easy. Um, you'll notice that on the top of it, this fuzzy-looking thing that everybody wants to call a rat, um, literally it's a small video microphone and the fuzzy thing is actually called a dead cat and the dead cat is intended to protect the microphone from wind noise so when we're driving in the toyota land cruiser um, in africa um, and we're outside the wind noise won't be quite as bad because i have the dead cat on it and uh, so right now i'm pretty happy with it it's another road microphone um, Rode makes great products. I'm really happy with them, and uh, this this is no exception. So, but uh, the other item that we're going to be playing with, and is essential to what I'm going to be doing, is this laptop. Um, this is a MacBook Air. I wish it was a MacBook Pro. Um, I, I could use the additional horsepower, but um, it's a great laptop. Works great for me. And uh, I use Final Cut Pro 10, which is also an Apple product. It's a professional editing software, uh, piece of software. And so it allows me to bring together all the different pieces of video and, and edit them into what you see as the finished product. Um, it's been a big learning curve. It's like uh, drinking from a fire hose trying to learn 
all the different things that affect um, you know making a video like this. Um, but I've, I'm pretty excited about going to Africa, and my goal is to share um, with you folks. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to upload. The question will be, what am I going to find in terms of an internet connection when I get there? And I think a lot of them are going to be Wi-Fi, so the uploads are going to be fairly slow to do. So... Um, also, we record all of that in two ways. Um, the first way is on um, SD cards, and so I have this little container. These are all SD cards that range from 32 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes. Uh, I don't remember what the cost is. The 64s are probably close to $50, um, and they record 64 gigabytes of information. I then bring that back because they insert right into the cameras and uh, or or this and actually that's a micro SD which I'll show you in a second but the 64s um, slide right into the cameras they record on it um, and so if I fill one up I can pop in another one so I have multiple for each of the cameras and then um, I bring them back and they go right into a slot right here on the side of the computer and I can transfer the information to the computer. Um, because video, particularly 60 or 4K video, uh, takes up a lot of space, I've purchased two external disk drives. Um, these are fast disk drives, and they're big. These are This particular one that you see right here is a 2 terabyte drive. So that's 2,000 gigabytes um, of storage space. And I have a second one of these at home that is three terabytes. So I'm taking a total of five terabytes of drive space to store everything on, and I can clear my SD cards for further use. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. These are actually the different cards that go into the drone. Um, the drone uses a micro SD card, and these are... 16 gigabyte SD cards. They look like this. It looks just like an SD card, but you actually slide this little baby out. It doesn't want to come out. Come on, baby. Oh, I got the thumbnail on the wrong side. That's why. It'll come out. I know it will. That's actually a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. This is actually the same memory card that goes into your phone. So if you've got a 32 gigabyte Apple iPhone, it's got one of these that looks just like this, except it's 32 instead of 16. These happen to be 16. Um, a flight of 20 minutes is rarely going to be anywhere near 16 gigabytes, and these are much less expensive, so I bought more of them. And uh, so that allows me to you know, get all the footage I want on the drone and I can transfer it to the disk drive. So there you go. That's all the, the photographic gear that uh, we're going to be taking. We're already in trouble on the weight. We only get 44 pounds each. So we're juggling underwear and camera gear trying to figure out how to get it all in. But I hope you found that interesting, and uh, I'll be back at you tomorrow. I'm going to go through uh, the itinerary, I think, tomorrow um, and show you on the computer and on a map where we'll be going and, and kind of the route we're going to be taking as we, as we go through our Africa trip. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.